to Māori e wānau, whānau, hānau, however you want to say it from whichever region you're from. I ain't even going to say it with the K at the end of it because that's just really, really stupid. Okay, um, normally, well, last weekend I didn't post anything because, you know, teachers have, um, have the weekends off, but hey, I thought, nah, we'll do it every day. Because I know you fellas will miss my mug on the, uh, watching my mug, eh? So, today's kupu, or today's place name, um, is dedicated to the bro, to me, Ata Māori e Bara. Um, a little place called Eke Tahuna. Okay, I'll say that again. Eke Tahuna. It's not Eke Tahuna. It's not Egarahuna, or however you want to say it. I know they, they say it really quickly, but it's not that. Alright? It's Eke Tahuna. Now there's nothing hard in this in this particular place name. Um, I suppose the hardest thing would be pronouncing your vowels, and they're all short. There's no stressed vowels in it. Alright, so repeat after me. E ke Ta hu na e ke ta hu na. All right, we'll get faster. E ke ta hu na. I suppose the T is pretty hard to say in there, eh? Because you don't want to say, uh, you don't want to pronounce the T like a T. You want to pronounce it like a short, a short T or almost a D. So like a D, a D. So to sort of to sort of shorten that T. Okay. I know. E ke ta hu na. Ah, it's alright, the cops are over there. You're holding the phone collar. I'm not holding it. Uh, yep. I know. E ke ta hu na. 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 Easy. Eke tahuna. Eke tahuna. Tur.